Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which I will talk about filters. Now, as you know, Photoshop has a lot of filters, and this is not just about Photoshop. Gimp has a lot of filters too, by default, so you have the blur, the distorts, light and shadows, noise, edge, generic artist, decor, map, render web, and animation. So you can choose all of these filters. But what if you need a filter that doesn't exist in Photoshop? What if you have an image that has something and you want to remove that thing from that image uh, but Jim doesn't have the content aware filter? What should you do? The solution to, the, to this problem is simple. There is an add-on for uh, Jim that does the content aware thing which is basically removing anything from an image uh, this add-on is easily downloaded and installed into Gem. You can go to percent again. We already mentioned this step. So what you need to do is simply write percent user profile, then another percent, head to the .gem folder. Then, as you can see here, we have a lot of things. You need to go to the plugins folder and you need to install these two plugins these are the two ones that i use the most in photoshop the first one is, is the content aware remove anything from image and the second one is layer via copy i will talk about these two but let's first install them you can simply do this by going inside the filter and simply Go to the plugin script folder. I will give you download links to these. Then drag these and drop them here. Click replace. That's it. We replaced all of these. The next thing is the second filter, which is okay, which is the layer via copy. Double click and again. Take this .py or python file and drop it here, then replace again. So after doing this, you have to turn off and turn on the gem software again. Now I will show you why we use or why we did install these two. Let's start by dragging an image here. This image has this light bulb, so I need to select this light bulb. Okay. Now, let's say that I just want this uh, selected area to be inserted into a new layer here in Gem, just like Photoshop. In Photoshop, we used to do Ctrl plus J, and we have it in a new layer, as you can see. Now we have a layer that has only this. In order to do this in uh, Gem, you have, okay, let me delete the layer first. You have to select the area that you want to use. Then after installing the uh, filter, which is layer via copy, you can simply go to layer here and click on layer via copy. Now you have a new layer with only the thing that you selected which is this thing and if you want to do it using shortcuts just like in photoshop i used to select then press as you can see here we have the shortcut ctrl plus j so just on the keyboard ctrl plus j you will see a layer coming up here again it's the same thing just like in photoshop this is not available in gem by default so you have to do it alone by installing this plugin that I already mentioned here. Now this was the first thing. The second thing was the content aware tool. If you if you want to remove this area from the image. Gem doesn't have the content aware uh, filter or tool by default just like Photoshop. Uh, you have to install it using uh, this folder. I did it already. As you can see content aware remove. Now, uh, what I did, 
is installing the filter you can find the filter by going here filter then enhance then heal selection now if you left it to default and click OK it will do it best it's best to um, remove this bulb from this image depending on the uh, area as you can see now click ctrl D to remove the selection we don't have the bulb anymore in our image just like in Adobe Photoshop so you don't have to pay anything this is all for free and you have the same functions um, let's use another filter which is blur filter now start by duplicating the layer we have now two layers go to the second layer click filter blur then Gaussian blur here you can change the amount of filter as you can see in the image by changing the amount it's blurring the blurring is increased then click OK now if I want to add more uh, light to the image I go to the modes here just like in Photoshop again and click soft as you can see here is without the blur here is with the blur now you can also merge layers just like in Photoshop by clicking on Ctrl E shortcut or go here and click on merge down the last thing that I want to mention is the curves if you, if you want to color we'll talk about this in more details in a separated lesson but you can go to colors curves and change the lighting increase it or decrease it as you can see click OK and voila you have now an image that's edited and you can save it easily that's it for the filter lesson if you have any question please ask in uh, the comments or the Q&A board this is Ashraf from educational engineering